Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terror. Hope everybody's well. Scorpio. It has come time for your October round two reading. This year you're gonna be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do what you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. This isn't necessarily a cross watchers read though. Um, this is where we go over what Scorpio strengths and weaknesses are and what Scorpio needs to do to achieve what they want and the outcome they want on a situation. What's got to go, what's coming in, what you got to do, all that have jazz. Okay? But, you know, if Cross Watch can take something out of it, hey, that's awesome too. All things may still be vice versa, so place yourself where you see fit. Um, if you're new here, thanks for coming by. If you think you might want to come by more, want to know when I upload, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. Hit the like button while you're down there. All of my returning friends, thanks for coming by. Where the hell you been? I missed your face. You need to stop by more. It gets lonely here. I'm really seriously hoping to have the new space set up very, very soon, actually. When I'm done doing readings today, I'm going to start working on some things. Um, the person who was supposed to come do the electrical work in there um, ended up not being able to make it, so I have to figure out how to replace an outlet myself without frying myself, so I guess I get to learn a new skill today. Um, anywho, anybody can hit the like button at any time. I'm going to stop babbling. Before I invoke the cards, though, and throw them down for you, Scorpio, there's a couple things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I do not recommend it. And two, if it's not your story or your message on the table, just leave the cards on the table walk away. I try to make these as general as possible. Sometimes I kind of throw some cards down and go down a rabbit hole. I try not to. That's something I'm trying to transcend and transmute about myself, you know, being the nosy sad that I am. So um, we're going to invoke and throw them down for you. Let's go. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Scorpio, why are you here? Ace of Wands. Ooh! Getting some started? Nice! Nice! Okay! Okay, this is going to be interesting. I can already tell. What's your strength? How is that a strength? How is that a strength? What's your weakness? Oh, shoot. Okay. Well? Speaking of rabbit holes, okay, Scorpio, what do you want? All right. What's got to go to get what you want? Okay, now things are making sense. What's coming in? Hmm. What you got to do? What's the outcome? Now it makes sense. Okay, we're going to throw down. I want to know what this Nine of Cups Reverse is all about for strength. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse chair for Scorpio strength? Ace of Swords. What? I'm hearing feeling never satisfied.
The Magician. Okay. Constantly manifesting something new. You are never satisfied. Nothing ever goes fast enough. Always manifesting new. Never satisfied. I guess that's kind of a strength. Always wanting more. Okay. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here for the weakness? Will of Fortune reversed. Libra got the same card. Will of Fortune reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> Ten of Wands reversed. Trying to manifest too much. Trying to do too much. Trying to take on too much. It's too much. You're never satisfied. But it's too much. It's too much. It's too much going on. But things often become too much. They keep you from your abundance. They keep, they keep the wheel turning in the wrong direction. All right. You want happiness. T throw one on this Ten of Cups. Throw one on this Ten of Cups. Five of Wands, Six of Swords, both reversed. You don't want drama. You don't want conflict. You don't want to fight against the wind. You don't want to feel like you're, you just want to be happy. You feel like you're fighting against the wind. Okay. Four of cups reversed. What's got to go? Oh, oh, oh. Four of pentacles in the upright. that your weakness is you never close anything out you're always manifesting something new sit on things back pockets okay hold on hold on you're never satisfied For the love of God, your strength is your weakness. You're never satisfied. You lock yourself out of good things because you're never satisfied. You ignore good things because you're never satisfied. Three of Pentacles. Third party. Three, three of Cups reversed. Scorpio, I am not throwing shade when I say this. I'm a Scorpio Venus. I am just as guilty, and I will be the first one to admit it. You have to end things before you begin new ones. You've got to stop leaving stuff hanging out there. Because it causes drama. And you're going to feel like you're fighting against the wind. Your greatest strength is that if something moves too slow, or someone's dishonest, or you're just not happy, you just manifest something new. And it just happens for you like that. It's charisma. It, it, it's it's a wonderful ability, but at the same time, if your weakness is you never close things out, you just kind of leave people hanging, yeah, it's going to cause drama. 
It's going to inevitably cause third party situations. You always got someone or something in your back pocket. Whew. I said, I'm not throwing shade. I'm not meaning to. This might be extremely specific. This could also mean that you accuse other people of having things in their back pocket, too. Making assumptions. What? Okay. What's coming in? Two of Pentacles. What's coming in? Throw one in this Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Tower reversed. Come back. There's a comeback. You're going to have to make a choice. I feel like somebody's coming back trying to rebuild a tower. But you just done started something new. Get one more on that. Nine of Wands reversed. Something that didn't move forward in the past. I don't think you gave it enough time. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here for what Scorpio needs to do? The moon. Mm. Tempest reversed. Not being so doggone impatient. Causing your own stagnation. Temperance reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Lack of patience. The moon. Secrets. Not knowing. It almost feels like if you don't get the information fast enough that you want or the answers fast enough that you want, you walk away from a situation, you go off and you start something new. Because you can't. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Causing your own stagnation. Always wanting more is a beautiful, wonderful strength. Never giving it enough time is a weakness. It's a horrible weakness. Building foundations takes time. Really getting to know someone takes time. Scorpio, I'm feeling like you got to take your time.
What's the outcome? What's this page of cups? And the swords reversed. A genuine offer that ends in bad blood. Because you don't put the work or the effort into it. You just let it slip away. I don't like this Scorpio. I don't like this. Hoof. Hoof. Five of Swords are burst at the bottom of the deck. Self-defeating energy. Good God. Betting the house, losing the farm. Holy shit. All right. What's your advice, Scorpio? Strength, two of swords. Lovers, eight of cups. You need to tame the beast within. Why the two of swords reversed? The world. You can't find that true, awesome connection if you never hang out long enough. King Cups reverse Seven of Pentacles. It takes some people more time to open up emotionally. And I think you don't give yourself enough time to open up emotionally. I think for some of you that scares you. I feel like some of you have something you need to close out. So this doesn't turn out like this. Scorpio, this was rough. Your card's at the bottom of the deck. Change... <sighs> If you keep keep finding yourself in the same pattern of it never works out, it never works out, it never works out, you really need to go inside and, and figure out what needs to change. And if the, I don't want to be that person, but the change has to start with you. How you deal with things and how you look at things. If you want happiness and you want an end of drama and you don't want to fight against the wind anymore, what do you need to do? You need to change your patterns. That's what I got for you guys. Whew. All right. Okay, well, know that you loved. I do this out of love, guys. I really do. I don't want to be bad news, Betty. I don't want to be that reader, but apparently that's what the universe decided I needed to be for you today. Just know that you loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys in your next video.